We already said that. How many people we got in here? We were rocking 38 people on pop culture in the morning. So let's head on over to the Black Series figures. I know that's what you guys want to see. You don't want to sit here and see me talk. First up, we got this very badass royal guard from Star Wars Crimson Empire. I know you guys are probably really looking forward to that. Having a royal guard that looks like he kicks ass. I mean, look at this thing. He's muscle bound and everything. Yeah, he's loading up and trucking for sure. And here he is. It is a bad looking ass figure. I probably won't get this one. I don't really buy much of the new stuff. But this is pretty badass looking, if you ask me. His great pose and everything. I like his staff. Uh, so, if I had a good place to display and I displayed a lot of the new stuff, this would definitely go in my collection. Look at that. And we have Heir to the Empire. Heir to the Empire. We got a throne came out a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, for Black Series. But I don't think it was based on the Heir to the Empire. I'm not really sure. Uh, but we got it. Um, and I thought I pulled a picture of Luke loose, but I didn't. But here he is. And I thought at first he came with a uh, dead skunk around, around his neck. But I'm not, I can't. I haven't read that story in so long. I can't remember what the animal is he comes with. The name of it. Somebody in the chat probably knows. And he comes, of course, with his green, famous green lightsaber. Whatever happened to that lightsaber? And here's the one we're all excited about. Star Wars Adventures. Jack the Rabbit. From, we mostly know from the Marvel series. But I think they brought him back out into canon or brought him out recently and everything. But let's take a look at Jack the Rabbit right here. Uh, it comes with two guns, two guns, pistols. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't as... Happy with this as I thought I would be. Look at this. Let's look at it. I'm going to actually pull it up. Let you see that a little bigger too. Let's pull it up. Look at that a little bigger. Now these go on pre-order today at 1 o'clock. You can find out more information of that over at StarWars.com. But they will go up for pre-order. I don't know. Something about the rabbit I don't like. Maybe it was more comic book looking. And he looks like a Buck O'Henry on drugs or something. But... Maybe if I see it in person, I will change my mind. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how they could have done more of a comic book look for it. But if they did, I think I would enjoy it more. Uh, or maybe I'll be, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll see it in person. I just wasn't as, as excited about it when I finally saw it as I thought I was when I heard it was going to be made. And, of course, we got Darth Maul from the Darth Maul comics right here. He's got his shirt off so you can see those massive biceps he's got. He looks really good. Watch out, uh, Chris. Don't get too excited now. This is man. This is uh, Sith Lord without his shirt on. I know something you're always asking me you want to see. Uh, and Chris says Jax, Jax is back uh, with a new with a new comic and new book. George Lucas hated the character of the rabbit, so I'm surprised they brought him back. But here's uh, Darth Maul while his shirt on. Look at those muscles. Uh, those abs. Look at them all. Let's look at them up close. That's a badass looking pose right there. Again, if I collected the new stuff more and I had a place to display it, I might would get this one. Let's pull this one up take a better look at it. That's a good looking figure right there. It's got the dual bladed lightsabers and everything. I really like that. That looks really good. Let's go back down here. I think that is it for the new Black Series stuff. That is it. We covered news in 13 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to find more news. Let's jump over to the chat, see what's going on, see if we got any super chat so we can hear something random like this right here. I tried this one chili and it set my mouth on fire and I had to drink a two liter of Mountain Dew. I'm sorry to hear that. Junk man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.